And good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kingdom. Welcome to this week five matchup between the Jetpack Cats and the Undead Batteries on Overwatch Tranquility. Uh, casting me today is my good friend, Man Jones. Man Jones, how you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. We got a stellar lineup of games against two stellar teams today. It's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, both of these teams are actually three and one in the standings, but... Uh, well, we're going to see who takes it out on top today. Uh, for the first map, we do have Oasis coming up. Next, we have Horizon Lunar Colony. Next up, after that, is Blizzard World. And then to top that off, Dorado. And if that's all tied up, our tiebreaker map will be Ilios. Yep, and it's not it's not something unusual to have a map five here in Trank, as we seem to have that quite a bit. And I think we're ready to be getting started here on Oasis. Both teams are ready, and I believe the casting is ready to go as well. So we're going to get started. Welcome to Oasis. What kind of comps do you think we're going to be seeing on Oasis today? So, uh, you know what? I think we're going to see some, some Reinhardt and Zarya. I think that's really strong in the first point here. I think especially coming into the university, it's really, really strong to get some shielding. Uh, I could also see Sigma Zarya as another potential matchup as well. Um, not too sure what the DPS are going to play because there's a lot of variety you can play with that comp. You can play a Hanzo, you know, you can play whatever, you can play uh, a Genji is really good in that. So I think there's a lot of versatility to that. So I think that's what we're going to be seeing. Oh yeah, 100%, especially because Sigma is now officially active in Tranquility. This is the first time we're allowing uh, Sigma, and this is going to be the first teams to possibly run it. So I'm excited, super excited to see, especially due to Rolllock, uh, Goats is dead, and so we're going to let the, the DPS just run wild and see how it goes. All right, looking looking really strong, actually. Kind of not what I expected. It looks like they're going to play the Orisa Hog and sort of play for uh, play a little bit slower and play for positioning here rather than playing a little more of an aggressive death ball comp with the Ryan Zarya or a Sigma Zarya. So I think we're going to see some slower gameplays. I do like the uh, the Moira and the May pick. I think that's going to be really interesting. Um, I'm not too sure who's going to come out on top on this one, to be honest. Yeah, Undead Battery currently running the May there. Uh, what, what, what something I'm concerned about, and not, I don't know if concerned, but interested in, is Melts on the, the Doomfist. We know him so well for his uh, Genji extraordinaire, and uh, we're going to see his Doomfist see I'd if like he can to, take a high I, ground angle. I would like to see some Doomfist coming in. Both teams taking the standardized guard. Hook coming out from blue, getting a go walled off and kill. Doomfist coming in hot here, pushing out. Ooh, Zen down, Doomfist gets away. Ooh, Rev's coming on to blue. The Roadhog is back up. Looks rather even coming into this fight here. Yeah, and Empress takes that delivery, and that's a huge pick. That's a healer down. Empress currently coming back into Trank after being a little sidelined for quite some time, and he seems to be going too. Ooh, Melz goes down on the Doomfist. Big advantage coming on to the Blue Squad here. What are they going to here? Oh, Crimson pulling off a couple kills there, and that should be the cleanup, and that should be the first point. Undead that is battery it. cleaning up. Undead battery looking really dominant on that first fight there. And you know, we did see that extended fight, but they did prevail with that May pick. No risky picks with the walls, but it really seemed to pay off. Placement on that was very good. Yeah, and look at the side of the ultimates on the four uh, undead battery. Currently have that McCreel and the male, both DPS alts available. Not far behind is that hoggle, so things could get slowed down for them very quickly for the uh, jetpack cats. Definitely interesting to watch how these two are going to use the DPS alt. Do they want to use them at the same time and guarantee some kills? Or do they want to combo sort of that, uh, or have them last as long as possible and maybe get two fights out of it? Melts up on the Doomfist. Ooh, Impulse getting pulled in. Blue with another pick. Blue getting frozen. Melts going full on. One pick on the Crimson. Ooh, do they invest the May ult? That's the question here. May going in. Ooh, Doomfist ult. Looks like they're going to really roll this one and save their ult to the next one. I guess once they saw the McCree go down, I thought they, they said it's time to save ult. Let's get the heck out of that one. Yeah, and you really got to credit Melts there for the aggression because this is such Ooh, a drawn out. Ooh, getting pulled out! No! Oh, oh, oh no. that's a huge stagger. That's going to cause a lot of time on the bank. Ooh, never that's just unfortunate. That. It's those little, those little mistakes that are so costly in these big matches. Oh, another hold hook. Oh, that's another one. Oh, but they trade blue. Can they get the res? They're all back. In. Nope, they don't even have mercy anymore. They cannot get that res in the slightest. Hooks and Hanzo Ult now going to be brought Hanzo out. Hanzo coming in. What do they get? They get Seb with it. Is that enough for them to win the fight? That's two kills. Reboot takes out the Bongo. But again, looking like they're backing off straight away. Want nothing to do with this fight. And Melts has been playing such an aggressive, flanky kind of doofus, which is something that we're so used to his Genji pulling up. I believe he's got the same mentality for his like he's doom. adapting his Genji style 
to exactly how he's playing Doomfist. It seems very similar. He wants to fly in, get a pick, and get a reset out. But in this case, instead of getting a reset, he's a saving ability. Yep, and ult's now being used. Klimbit brings out that mail. Doesn't seem to be too, Ooh. too much out of it. Ooh, but they do manage to pick up oh, up here and blue. Ooh. Oh, Doomfist melts, gets, gets the nano. And now ults are just going all over the place. And Melts trying to clean up Zoji's clan, but Klim's it. Krim, excuse me, Krim, Crimson takes out Melts there as Demo takes Ooh, out Ooh, Delivery Rindy. trying to get the nice little stall here. He's still on the point there, getting as much maximum time. 75, not quite enough time to make it one fight. So there's still a two fight potential here. But you know what? 75 on the board looks really strong. You know, you got 25% to work with before they're even tied up to you. Yeah, and Undead Battery definitely has some ults to work with. I believe they have that defensive ult. That could prove massive for all these DPS ults coming in. Oh, big pick on the Orisa there, coming in. Oh, it's Transcendence used along with Dragon, along with Hulk Hog, get, or Hulk Hog. Hold hog getting a pick there, sorry about that. Uh, Doom is coming in. Oh, trades the other way. Looking very, very congested in the middle. Ooh, Hanzo dropped down into the middle. High noob to zone. Looking really strong. Ooh, that fight did not turn out how I expected it to. Yeah, I mean, originally the main tank for Undead ba Battery went down, but they played very, very defensively and t basically took out Reboot, who we know is a bass, is it a very aggressive tank, and he does get punished, forcing Jetpack Cats to have to take this last fight opportunity. That was, you know what, that was some good communication there to retake that fight. Because normally when you go two down like that, you normally say, hey, we can back out and get another one. But they decided to say, oh, Gambit going down, Reboot going down, Gambit gets the pick. Blue coming in here, we can do Doomfist with the ultimate, getting one, ooh, no. Who's down? Who's down on the Hanzo? Arisa getting the pick. Cinnamon down. That's it. Supercharger's too much to handle. Is that the rest of the cleanup? Just one more. Blue is down. No delivery on the point. And that is it. Oh, Breaking Ball is back. Can you touch the point in time? Slam just barely makes it. High noon coming out. Stunned out and killed. That should be it there. Yep, that is there the round. Is. And Undead Battery very very resourceful with their ultimates kind of saving it for little tiny niche particular moments and it worked out for them as reboot unable to take the aggressive Arisa ult at to end that fight there or excuse me to start that fight there and it just did not work out for the jetpack cats Arisa is so hard to deal with when you once you get her on a point to get her off that point is so difficult and i think both teams knew that going into it so having your alts be rotated in the right fashion having the right ultimates to push against the shield having your bongo just to make sure you can get the point just having that all timing is so important in this matchup and it was definitely shown there uh but let's see what they can pull out on the second map i'm wondering if they're going to change it up both teams still sticking to the orissa hog so same general strategy but we are seeing melt on the pharah again yeah, an interesting I pickup there and with no clear hit scan on the side of Undead Battery, this could prove as a very, very uh, dangerous Arisa Mercy, or excuse me, uh, Farah Mercy combo here. Yes. No, I, I, the May pick is, is, you know, almost null and void in a sense with that Farah. It's just raining down rockets. It's really hard to hit those shots, and especially if the fair is playing angles in proper line of sight. Yeah, and I like right now how the Undead, or excuse me, how the Jetpack Cats have taken high ground trying to do oh, as much as they can. Oh, big call on Empress right away. And Melts takes out Seb as Coochie gets dropped on the Orisa by O. And the oh, Melts going on here. Look. Blue picking up a double kill in the middle there. And ooh, cleaning up the fight. That is a flip from 10%. Now they're going to start gaining some percentage here. Yep, Blue with two able to pick that up and clean it up here. As Melts already has that barrage available to go. And with no other ults really too available on site, Melts could have a big play from this. I don't really know what their plan. Okay, they, so they they have the McCree and they're onto the Hanzo. I don't know what they're gonna do to deal with this impending barrage that's coming in. Melz is playing very well, getting that all. What's he gonna do? He has a very good opportunity to use it rather soon, and let's see how he let's see what he can do with it. Ooh, picking up an original kill. Now, does Melz use the barrage? Does he invest? They're two up. No need to use it. Three up. Ooh, good alt management there, deciding not to use it. Yeah, and I love the way Meltz is currently playing right now. Not even getting a sightline for that McCree to take shots at him, playing the natural cover just perfectly. So if the uh, excuse me, Undead Battery tries to push in on that Arisa, which is already hard enough on its own, he's, they're going to be rained down by rockets with an uncontested farm. It's going to be really hard to deal with that Farah. I, I just don't see how this is going to happen. They, they, you know, they're switching onto a Farah of their own, but they don't have a Barrage. They're down. It's they don't have a mercy weak. pocket either, so this is going to be and very And they don't have the mercy as well, which is another big question. Oh, Melt looking to use that all. Big barrage! Tits 2 with the barrage! Going in on the Roadhog. Can he get the 
Can he get the third? No. Ooh, picks that up. Farah on the left. Pushing her out now. Melt's doing a phenomenal job on that Farah. You know what? Going into this, I thought we were going to see a lot of Genji, but Melt is showing his diversity and showing really how much he can adapt as a player from just being a Genji player, more to being able to play whatever, it seems. Oh yeah, 100%. And this looks like a completely different Jetpack team, Jetpack Cat team that we saw from last round. This is an aggressive DPS line that has been carrying every single fight. It's Oh, good bongo placement. Shield, aggressive trance, pulled, pulled out. Big purple, big purple, that's two. Is that reboot down as well? That is reboot down. Can they clean this up? This is looking intense. Ooh, gets a pick on a Crimson. They can still do this. Pick onto the Orisa. Ooh, Hog misses the hook. That was maybe a deciding factor here. What's going on? Oh, big barrage from Mel. Turns it onto the Hog. Hog, Nano Boost onto Ooh. Full whole Hog pushing the Nano Boost. Into the oh my god, what's going on? Did they do it? They did it! Oh, did they hold? No barrage coming in! What's going on? He's too high up, and that's it! That's the round! Incredible finish! Unbelievable! Incredible. Oh my god, that is a completely different team. I, I mean, think they Oh my god. Both DPS just playing out of their mind that round. Not to mention that Impurse was leading the charge for the side of Undead Battery, and he just even couldn't get as much pressure as he wanted. Even with the ult, he was just taken out almost exclusively on his own there, and just the DPS for Jetpack Cats are popping off right now. And now we're going to be seeing what kind of switches will be made. I think Meltz knows what's right for him, and he's going to be staying on that pharmacy, as well as the side of Undead Battery will switch I, to the pharmacy as well. Pharmacy is, Freya in particular, is really interesting to deal with. You can either get a couple of hit scans and shoot her out of the sky, but ultimately if you can't do that the only other counter is playing another fair mercy pocket and let's see how this battle goes this point's notorious for fair mercy oh picking Climbit out of the air oh that's looking really good didn't die in a resible position this is really really bad melts yeah, raining down I'll rockets right on the main tank of jetpack catches oh takes out kushi and that's a big play for them Mel's coming in here, picks up Crimson, that's McCree. And what else can they do? There's nothing to deal with this Mercy Pocket. Oh, Diva goes down on the point, stalling out every last little bit before they cap, but it's just not enough. There's not much you can do when there's five people standing right on you. Hey, that rhymed, and just like that, we're gonna be seeing how Jetpack Cats are gonna manage to hold them down and just prevent exactly what they did last map, prevent any kind of entryway for this uh, for this tank line to get in, even with the D.Va switch, not no- OH! Sure. Mel's oh, getting picked! Why are- Can he get the res? Oh! That is- Even though he gets the res, they're down res for those 30 seconds, that's still big. There's a lot of potential here. Ooh, Kimba coming in on the- on the Anna, Anna go down! Seb is looking real- Oh! Seb anted up, Klimbit getting back up there. Valk from the side of- What was that? Demo? Undead battery this there. Is so hard to keep track of, they're playing- in Oh! Klimbit pulled- Nanobu shut- Oh, not shut down! Wait, I can't even see what's going on half the time! These fights so are so many scattered! Ults. Blue coming with a whole hog! Two kills up for Crimson! Crimson picked up a third! Can he get a fourth? Is the Anna's running away now? Can he get him? That's four! 4k! Unbelievable aim! That is something you do not see every day. And the point game. does get switched now for the undead battery, but Ooh does have that dragon available as well as Cinnamon with that Valkyrie. So this could be a winnable fight for them to take back. But Klimbit nope. takes out Melts right off the bat, and that it, fly has been swatted. It really won't take them long to push back on with the alts they have. It's really a question of how the defense makes do of not having any ult. That's really the question here. Oh, coming in with the dragon here. What can he do? Getting any more? What's he up to? Oh, and the way that Undead Battery is playing in such a narrow hallway, giving he has so much room to be able to work however they want to on the point. As Crimson does take out Reed, and both Arissas are down. Melts does take out Crimson, and that could be the end of this fight as Impress is going to be stalled out. Rest in peace, Impress. Oh, Gimmick coming in with a kill. Do they have the res? Doesn't really mean much. Now it's whether does he escape with his life? No, just staggering himself. So not only does he get nothing out of that kill, he also staggers himself some more, adding more time to the clock. Yep, and we are in that halfway point of this map. Final score, or excuse me, uh, right now it's currently tied one to one. So this map is it. Whoever wins this will take the first map. And let's see how this is going to be played. Some ult hook action coming in, maybe the Diva Bomb. Let's see if this is able to get anything. Unfortunately, Reaper bomb almost gets down though. Much. Diva Bomb not being used very effectively there. A little bit of a lackluster decision, not really thought out. You know, the time's like ticking up. It's hard to think on your feet. That's really when you need to make good decisions. 
Oh, it's Limbit coming in here now. On the Got plane. the nano boost, but Melt picking up two with the barrage. Demo answers Melt with the pistol right in the face. That's what you get for all things. Blue getting bumped into the front. Oh, he's trying to deny the res. Doesn't quite get it. Cinnamon going down. Ooh, getting pushed into the corner here. It's looking not good. Seb trying to do his best, but can he stay alive? No, Impers gets pulled by Blue. Put Blue with the whole hog. So many times he has this whole hog right at the end, right where he needs it. It's looking really good. Barrage coming in, gets none. Impers with the kill. Barrage not picking up much, but it opens up that positioning for Impers to finish off the kill on the blue there. So yep. good job holding the point. You really got to invest everything, but you know what happens when you invest everything? They're coming back with more alts than you do. Crimson, only one with his alt, and we also have Delivery and Ooh coming back in with theirs. Cinnamon, 73, 75%. Yeah, and ooh, the way he's been playing today, I don't, I don't think any reason why not give him the nano and let him just pop up. But they do instead. Oh, to Melt! Melt takes out Seb. Melt with the nano coming in hot. Oh, it's Crimson with the high noon. Can he pick up Melt? What can Melt do about it? No, doesn't quite get it. Ooh, go. Ooh, picks up another kill. Melt coming back in. Ooh, with another headshot. He's aimbotting at this point. He's insane. Is Impers gonna go down behind there? What's going on there? Trying to keep his mech, getting healed up. What's gonna happen here? Ooh, getting another one with that pick. That's three for him this fight already. What a monster. Impers with the Diva Bomb. Can they deny the mech? Right there. Roadhog cannot deny the Diva back. That's huge. Coming back in with the res on the reboot. Ooh, purple onto the mercy. Down the one HP goes down. That's big. Oh, Arissa's back. Seb on the healing, trying to do all that he can. It's almost 99.99. Impers going in forward. Blue killing. Oh, gets the Arissa pull. No more ammo. Can't quite finish it off. Oh, Rissa looks like she is in trouble. Is Rissa gonna go down? Rissa goes down. Impers, only one left on point now with Crimson on the tracer. It's a stall effort at this point. How can they even hold when Melt is coming in with the barrages? What can you do? Trouble with the res. This is insane. Why is this fight still going? Oh my god. Climb it back up. What is going on? They're stalling for so long. The point hasn't flipped at all. It's, it's, everything is just going insane. Seb goes down. Melt's coming up huge. Climb it. Back with the barrage. Gets two. Melt takes him down. Devil goes down. That's the point in the first game. Right Jet there. Cats, ladies and gentlemen, making their statement, getting their first map pick up against the undead battery and what a last fight that was i mean back and forth back and forth how many barrages was that? i lost count honestly oh my god five i think it was um, there was, was five. so five barrages total that's an absurd number of barrages the faro players were playing out of their minds both teams scrapping it out now if this is any indication of how this series is gonna play we are in for the best series i've ever casted that's oh, hands down what's for a oh my lord jetpack cats bring they looked i don't want to say anything bad but they did not look good on that first map they will look shaky they didn't quite they couldn't quite hold it out but then they brought it all the way back for the next two maps and that's phenomenal Oh, 100%. And I think next map is going to be even more hectic as we are going to be moving to Horizon Lunar Colony. Everyone's oh. favorite 2 CP. If if I don't if I if I don't see melts on the Doomfist out in space, I'm going to be very upset. That is one thing that we're going to need to see. Now, what do you think the team comps they're going to be rolling in with? Cuz this is a very interesting map, you know. It's very unique. There's not many maps like it. Dive is very good. Uh, like shield is very good on defense. There's, there's a lot you can play. Symmetra is actually really good for once on this map, which is cool too. So, what do you think they're going to play? I'm thinking that we're about to be treated with the Melts Genji on a Cyber Dive, Sombra Genji, perhaps. Ooh, cy with the dive. Mm. Mm. Cyber hey, Dive. I have a question for you. Really Do you good. think we'll finally see some Sigma? I don't know if the teams are practiced enough to, to be comfortable to bring that Sigma pick out. If this is the first week where they're able to play it, I think only the teams that are daring and really like trying to be playing a Sigma comp. It's a lot easier for teams who are in a practice schedule to keep practicing what they're doing. And that's why, you know, GOATS is just easier to play than innovating. And now that GOATS is dead, we're going to see some innovations, but I think that's going to be in the upcoming weeks. Oh, yeah. And now that GOATS is dead, people are going to have to actually start being creative with their comps. And uh, speaking of which, we are going to be stopping O out for upsetting. O was playing out of his mind as well as Gimos uh was. I don't know. I don't know how you make this call. I don't know. I don't know how you make this call right now after... It, it, did you not watch what O was doing? O was, he was playing out of his mind. Melts could pick up a 4K in a fight, but O could do a 3K every fight. And that was something I haven't seen is the consistency coming on that player. 
I wonder how this, I wonder if, you know, they're going to go for a more dive heavy comp now and take out more of a consistent DPS player and maybe play a Sombra. I think that would be the, like, the reasoning why they might be switching this out. Yeah, and Empress, who was doing such a good job stalling on that last point, is going to be switched out for uh, Velocifaptor. <laughs> and we're going to be seeing him come in now on that off tank roll, most likely. Yeah, so, let's let's see how this, let's see how this goes. Horizon is um, it's a horrible map. Let's be honest, it's <laughs> it's it's horrible. It's not it's it's not that fun to play. Um, but nonetheless, uh, it is fun to watch in a competitive format. I think, especially when you get coordinated teams who have practiced strats, the map becomes a lot more fun. But when you get a bunch of people who want to make their own strats up in solo queue, it's not as fun as some of the other maps. But nonetheless, we're in for a treat, and I definitely hope to see some people dueling out in the space area. Because if you're going to the moon and you're not going to go jump out in space, come on. I mean, come on, yeah. If you are just joining us, this is the Overwatch Tranquility Week 5 matchup featured match between the Undead Battery and the Jetpack Cats. Jetpack Cats currently taking Oasis and it's currently 1-0 now. Both teams 3-1. and one. Let's see who's going to make an impact on this nice moon. Lunar College. So Undead Battery, it looks like they're on the first defense here, and they're deciding to run the double shield Rhine's or Rhine Sigma. I don't know how I feel particularly about this these two tank setups, uh, especially against the Symmetra. That's going to be really hard to deal with. So I think we're seeing the best of both worlds. We're getting some uh, Sigma, and we're also getting the best hero in the game, Symmetra. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Yep, and pay attention to the sniper duel between Crimson and Melts. As both snipers very, very, very well... Uh coordinated well uh well Melt respected is, harmony melt is, is you know playing a little safer on the right hand side so i wonder if they're gonna teleport and they're gonna turn and he's gonna get some free shots in here so that's some good coordination there already set up on the points melt takes out crimson already first pick onto that oh reinhardt charging in blue picks up another one this is looking very very good for jetpack cats they're looking really amazing really strong onto the point as well Yep, and Coochie Chops takes out Upsetting though, but Upsetting does take a clip as he dies. Coochie Chops takes out two on that Sigma, and they're just trying to clean house right now, but this is very back and forth. Reboot takes out seven, that's the healer down, and, and that's it. all Jetpack what else? Cats. What else can you do? Jetpack Cats, again, showing their dominance or Melt, telling Crimson, hey, this is the Widow Show, and I'm the host. That's what he's saying. Puts yep. him in spawn twice there. That's that's really hard to deal with. Look at and the all charge difference. Clinic. Look at that, 72% onto Crimson's 21. Mel's doing a phenomenal job here. And Looks like we are seeing the switch here. And let's see how things are going to be changing as the side of Undead Battery, as you said, don't have very many ults in line other than that Moira one coming up. But so many ults about to come up. I see how Reboot uses the Shatter against another Reinhardt. And it's oh, the teleporting on top! Game. This is a play! What are they doing? That top is so dangerous. Three turrets all the way up there. Gambit can't do anything. Can't push them off the high ground. Oh, Big Ember down! Picks up three! Oh, Velociraptor getting out. Oh my god, big wall coming in. What is going to happen? Upsetting with the wall. What can we do off this? Sigma looking really pushed out. Isolated target. Gambit picks up delivery. Upsetting goes down to Crimson. Oh, Velociraptor, but Mel picks up two. Oh, Seb. Oh, this is looking so insane, but it might not be enough. Reboot still going hard Mel's on the point. Mel with the, with the 4K! With the oh 5! How did they turn that, that, that around? Up. What happened? Reboot taking the point by himself. Walk! Crimson's down as well! Oh my god! Damo, what's he doing? He can't even do anything. He goes to the point. He's just getting shot at. That's all that's happened. Two ticks now. Almost two ticks secured here. This is an unbelievable turnaround for Melt. Upsetting picks up one. Reboot picks up Sigma. Blue picks up Reinhardt. What a turnaround. I mean, this fight was over until Melt started popping up in the 4K. That big shatter. Oh, this is a shatter on the reboot, but it doesn't matter. Two picks pick, two ticks picked up. That's a third. Oh, I went 2, 4, 25 on the clock. Unbelievable round. That is crazy amounts of time on the clock. And that was a crazy play from Melt. You know what? I don't even know. The DPS are coming up so big right now. Melt and Ooh and Upsetting are all playing so well. It just looks like the DPS show here now that we're back in the 2-2-2 lock. So we were wondering how teams were going to adapt after GOATS, and it looks like they're doing very well. I mean, it's Melt's world, and we're just living it. He's having a beast tonight, eating on these undead batteries, just...
taking shots left and right, hitting every single dink possible, and reboot, making sure that point stays contested, making sure he gets that point, and he can trust his sniper to be uncontested and take as many shots as he needs. How do you deal with that? How do you how do you deal with someone who's aimbotting? That's the question. He's playing like an aimbot. How do you, you leave the that? game? <laughs> I mean, there's not much you can do to stop that. Gotta... Counter Widow Crimson was not able to really uh, contest him as much as you'd hope if you were on the side of Undead Battery. But we're going to see what's, how it's going to happen. I believe that Crimson now is going to take Melts a lot more seriously this round. And I don't know. After that showing, I would be very, very scared to show my face around Melts on Widowmaker. He is looking phenomenally strong. He's very dominant. And I think if you're playing into that Widowmaker, you're going to have to wait till he shoots, peek those corners after, or pick an off angle. If you take a standard sight line that he's looking down, you're losing because that's all we've seen so far. So I, I think if Crimson wants to win this, he's going to have to get very creative on his angles. And we're going to be seeing a bunker comp coming from the side of Jetpack Cat with that Arissa Hog setup with the, excuse me, with the, uh, look, at the look, look, what, look what Melts is doing to them. He's just pushing the front. He doesn't even care. I mean, he's, he's just, just, gonna go he's just having fun. And that's what it's all about right now. He's just he, doing whatever he wants. He doesn't care. There's no respect on to whatever they're doing. Oh, does not get the TP down. Unfortunate undead battery. Not able to get the TP strat to work. They did not have proper shielding on it. Unfortunate. The, and right now oh, they are currently being pushed back to point as undead battery with that Sigma just doing as much damage they, as they, they can. They want to be on point. Undead cats want to be, or jump pack cats, they want to be on point. Look at the setup they have. They have turrets on the main. Oh, Crimson takes out Melt in the Widow battle. That is insane. Velociraptor going down as well. Demo yep, trying to push the battle of shields right now. As this, as the uh, battlefield is used to, or excuse me, the bat immortality is used to keep reboot alive, and reboot takes out Climbit. Cli 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 Climbit, Climbit's down. Have to, they have to get out. Undead battery just pushed back. Now that's, that's, that's very large here. Do they keep the sim? He's got the alt. I don't, I don't know if you, I don't know if you switch it up, but Crimson is coming in, doing his part. He's picking up, he's picking up the other Widowmaker. That's the job for your Widowmaker mainly. But you gotta be doing a little bit more as a team if you're gonna want to push over. Uh, oh. Jump pack cats. They're they're looking really really strong. Yeah, and Undead Battery is going to sim to the top right and try to take this high ground approach to him. Currently, haven't seen Melts and Cr Crimson going at it too too much. But uh, we're going to see how this fight is going oh, to get They do commit. Big wall, the... Climbit coming in with a wall. Crimson picking up Melt. Climbit going down to reboot. Big wall from upsetting ourselves. Now it's a cluster on the point. What are we watching? What are we seeing? There's so much Walking going on. The meta. How, how can anyone keep track of anything? There's a window going on. One wall is down. Blue is on point. Reboot still sticking on the point. No progression made. Oh, Velociraptor going down once again. Two minutes on the clock. Two, two minutes setting. on the clock here. What do you really do? I mean, there's so many different opportunities, but right now I'm concerned that Melts hasn't really been too much of a factor DPS-wise, and but Crimson has been shut down as well. Neither Sniper really getting too much advantage, too much pressure. It's uh, not even about the Widowmaker here. It's not I about mean, the Widowmaker. there's too many shields. It's, there's so many shields. It's how you deal with the shields, and it's what, what do you do, and it's a Sombra. That is the answer for both of these teams. Deny them shields, deny them opportunities with the hacks. That's the easiest way to play into this. And I think both teams are opting to play a harder strategy. Oh, and Melt picking up one more pick on a Kimbit again. So that's that's very large. They're down to a minute. They're just sort of choke standing at this point. Yep, that's and a whole... Melt's right now just taking shots, trying to do what he can. Needs some healing as he is Discord. Goes through the teleporter back to his team. Back behind that safety of the shield. And you look at the side of ultimates when it comes to jetpack cats, they do have that reboot ult available that could boost the rest of the team to ultimates of their own. Boot, or excuse me, blue as well has that whole hog that could prove fruitful against these shields. All right, let's see coming in. How do they decide to play this? They're playing an interesting tank setup. Velociraptor onto the limp monkey, jumping in. Boulder thrown in. Big ultimate sigma ult picked up two. Can they kill anything? No, with the sigma ult. Melt takes the Climbit. Melt picked up, picked up another fight. one. Upsetting gets out with the Raptor. Cinnamon gets picked up. Blue picks out Seb. Upsetting down as well. This is insane. Demo picked out. 27 seconds and Sigma down. What do you do here? What do you do if you're undead battery? What do you do? I mean, you just gotta have have an ult ready to go like Seb's ult and hoping what all for what, everything. What what ult? How do you use it? This is insane. This is such Honestly, a hard they just play. Need to get the point right now. I mean, if you're on the that's panic mode, that's you got seven seconds to get the point and use whatever you can. Velocity Factor is gonna be the one to touch here. 
Oh, boss is back for Pimp Melt! Big engage! Oh, big wall coming out. Gambit almost getting killed. Gets into the VAP field in the back there. Blue getting punched into the wall. What? There's just so many shields. It's so hard to deal with. What can they do here? Upsetting oh, the but Demo died down. with his trance. That is both support down and trance down. This looks very unwinnable. Crimson goes down. Sigma down. Genji down. And that is the round right there. Another impressive display. It has really been the DPS show tonight. That's yeah. Honestly, it's it's it, it, it's break shields and who's got who's got the DPS. This is unbelievable gameplay right now. We do get to play the game from Amoiris from Seb there, but I do want to talk about for a minute. I mean, you talk about the attack for Jetpack Cats. That was the melt show. Don't get me wrong, but upsetting. Who was subbed out for Ooh as we talked about earlier? Was popping off on that sim. Just so many shields. There's so much pressure he was putting with the uh with that with that left click beam from the sim and it what a just job from upsetting nice easy. Just it was I like it. it was just interesting to see how you could you know you could end on such a high note bring in a new player change the team atmosphere just that little bit and still play that well still bring your a game and bring it all that that shows a lot of practice and i think that's the that's going to be the defining factor on a lot of maps because the Jetpack Cats looked a lot more practiced on what they were doing. And I think one of the bigger things, again, was they didn't pick up Sigma. They didn't want to make that risky play to a new hero. They wanted to stick what they're comfortable on and say, hey, we know how to play this strategy. Do you know how to beat it? And Sigma was not the answer to that one for sure. And we'll see if Undead Battery can come up with an answer as we are entering in the halftime and we will return at 9.15 p.m. EST giving this team, both teams, 10 minute break to talk over. And we'll return our good old map, uh, Blizzard World on the hybrid. So thank you so much. You are watching Overwatch Tranquility. Jetpack Ads up 2-0. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you were just tuning in, we are the Overwatch Tranquility Community. Week 5 matchup between the Jetpack Cats and, and Undead Batteries. Currently, the Cats are up 2-0. to zero. My name's King, oh, Kingdom OW, and I'm joined by my good friend, Man Jones. Man Jones, how are you feeling right now, bud? After watching these first two games, I am feeling really good. Unbelievable gameplay coming out. We saw some swings. We saw some turns. We saw we saw a whole array of cool uh, cool strats, so I think... I think we're in for another two amazing maps. I do agree, and we are going to be seeing Blizzard World with the switch up, and I think we are going to be getting ready to start here. But the switches we are seeing is Ooh, who was just dominant on Oasis, comes in for Upsetting, who was just dominant on Lunar, as well as Impurse is going to be coming back in for uh, Velocirap, or excuse me, for um, the side of Undead Battery. So, from uh, if you haven't been tuning in with us from what you've been seeing, it's been a very big DPS show. Uh, both DPSs, or all the DPS in the game have been showing up big, but some more than others. And we're going to see who can keep that momentum. Melt has been popping off on the Widowmaker. Let's see what he's going to play. He's been showing a lot of other DPS. And the only thing we haven't seen Melt play is his signature Genji. So, I mean, I'm yeah. <laughs> The one so, thing we expected to see from him, he's yet to show us, but he's been showing us so many different things. His Doomfist, his Far, his Widow, you name it. This man has been on fire. So this is uh, looking really interesting. Melt picking up a Genji. He's hovering that. Looks like they're also playing a Lucio on Dark Link, a Delivery on Anna. Ooh is on that uh, that Hanzo he's played so well of. I can't wait to see some more of that. Uh, Blue on Zarya and Reboot on the Reinhardt uh, for Undead Backpack. Oh, right, sorry, what's it? It's Undead, undead battery, battery, sorry. Undead, yeah, Undead, undead, undead need, Battery, need, sorry. Uh, My bad there. Uh, we have Velociraptor on uh, the Roadhog. We're seeing the Orisa on Impurse. We're also seeing Demo on his Mercy, uh, Seb on the Moira, and then Afera along with Crimson on the Widowmaker. So this is going to be a really interesting defense. That defense is really strong, played on point, and that's exactly what they're looking to do, peeking out the right side here. Clemson already up, or excuse me, Climate or already up to 20% alt charge from just shooting at the window. So that's going to be huge because that far can be just draining for the side of Jetpack Cat's attack if they choose to go in the way they are. That's very large. I, 
I'm just kind of wondering whether or not they decide to switch to a hit scan now, or if U is confident enough to take this duel onto the onto the Hanzo there. Really hard to do, but can also be really good if you can hit those headshots. So really, oh, Crimson picking up Dark Link right off the bat. All the momentum done. Slowed with Rebu still going in, pulling it in. What's gonna happen here? There's no healing. Rebu goes down. Impers picks up the kill. Oh, what's going on? Oh, Climbic takes out Met. Melt. Insane. Climbic picks out U. Oh. Climate yeah. picks out blue! Unbelievable! I said it was the DPS show, and that's exactly what we're seeing. That's unbelievable on both sides. Climate, he knew he had to step up if he wanted to match what Melt was doing. Melt says, no, 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 no. If you're going to be in the sky, I'm pulling out my Widowmaker. If you're going to pop off, I'm also going to pop off. Yeah, I mean, you come out of the break, Undead Battery needed a surge of energy, and Climate is bringing that energy, already 88% to his brush, but melts with that deadly Widowmaker, looking for him in this guy, looking to pick the fly, if you will. And right now, just a poke battle, Darklink trying to get his team up there, up to the high, trying to take a little less poke, so reboot. Oh, reboot. Sam gets the pick! Sam How do you do that? Melts! The answer is, can they res though? Can Demo res? Does he think he can? He wants to go for it. They're posturing, there's the shield. Crimson picks up Melt. Oh, this is really, really bad for the cats right now. They're stuck in this bad position. They can't get out of there. That Farah is locking them in and saying, hey, if you decide to get out of here, you're gonna die. Farah going inside. What's he gonna do with this? Going in, two coming up, supports on the back. What's going on? Farah picks up Darkling on that Lucio. Lucio down. Oh, Rebu just decides to fly away. He wants nothing left to do with this fight. It's and look how good. aggressive Climate is right now. He's oh my there. god, what are you doing? Mel picks up Crimson. Why? Oh no, Crimson Belt picked up Devil. That's two. Climate picks up Ooh. Now this is looking good, but still in the favor of Cat. Melt grapples onto the high ground. Big barrage, but it's shut down by Melt. Oh, Graviton Surge coming in from blue. Countered by the whole hog. Purple doesn't really matter. Nano boost on to reboot. What's gonna happen? Delivery getting pocketed in the back. Emperor's going down. Zeb getting pushed away from the point. Can't fade on. Fades away. Is he gonna get killed instantly? Mercy gets the pistol out. Mercy, what are you doing? You're a healer. Get the stun at healing. There she goes. Back on to Crimson. Big hammer from reboot. Picking up one. Climb it down two. The row takes out Demo in the air. And that's the first point going over the cast. 340 left on the time bank. And what a strange back and forth match. I mean, it could have been anyone right now, especially how Climate was playing on that pharmacy, just cutting off heals for such a long time. But luckily, Delivery Able was able to get in there, shut down Impress's whole hog, and, or excuse me, Velocifactor's whole hog. And from there. Oh, Melt with another one! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, oh Crimson oh, Crim like he, he stopped it right there. Yeah. They're listening to me. <laughs> Finally listening to me. I swear to God, I swear. Big... I swear, these are the only people that listen to me. They can't even hear me right now. Oh, that Seb gets out. reboot. Climbat takes out blue. Ook answers back by killing Climate. Oh, what are they gonna do here? Emperor's gunning in the point saying, no, 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 this is our point. Pulling up the Hanzo. Ooh, he's gonna go down. He's in a bad position. The Roadhog wants him. Oh, Wall's coming in on the side for uh, undead battery. So they're gonna have good vision coming in here. Can the Hanzo escape? No, he gets pulled in, he's dead. Staggered. Big stagger there, four. What are you doing? You had to... so much time to escape there. Sorry to cut you off there, but no worries, no worries. unbelievable. Oh, engage on the B on the on the 5v6. This is a risky blue. What are they gonna do? They have to count. They have to use another ultimate loss of Raptor goes down. That's a 5v5 now. They made it even. Impulse not in a good position. Reboot says, hey, I'm gonna swing on you. Nano boost comes out on to reboot. He wants them all. He's going to the spawn. Lamb comes out from the Baptiste. Oh, counter Moira ult. Nano fades off, they're forced back now, they didn't get it quite enough, big shatter on the Gambit, Moira down as well, ooh, coming in, can he pick up Seb, this is it, there it is, Seb goes down, ooh, picks up two, Reboot looking to pill up, oh, ooh, goes down to Seb, Reboot picking up, Impers, Melt again with the Crimson win on the 1v1 there, and sprays down Velociraptor, maybe securing this point here, DEVIL, YOU'RE A SUPPORT, STOP, <laughs> COME and ON, right now being the alpha, the Alpha Yoda Chad and Tank right now pushing this very spawn, and he's coming for you guys as they need to back up. This bunker strat isn't working out too, too well as Reboot's coming right at them, beelining it straight for those tank lines. And they he's got almost his way for another uh, Shatter coming up relatively soon. They got nothing to deal with the Lucio. The, the Orisa loses to Lucio. He can speed those tanks right in your face, and you can't disengage. They're faster than you. They're going to win. I. 
I don't see how this strat's gonna work. You either need to pick up the Lucio of your own or make a change to your tank lineup. And they're not doing either of this. Right now, Undead Battery seems to be losing its charge. They had such an early- Oh, big pull on a reboot. Oh, right in the Dragon Crimson picks him up though. Blue getting pushed out. Discord onto Dark Link there. And just forced out. This is looking better. This is looking winnable. Oh, Demo 5 orbing right onto the Hanzo there. Oh. Let's see if this whole hoax can improve. Right now, they seem to be non-existent. His Reaper is doing so well placing that shield to stop any kind of uh, picks that no. the tank line could get. Look at the setup. Look at the setup on this map. It's really hard to push in. They're making the smart decision. They're using all. Oh, they're using all. The shield's not quite there. There's no support all. Ah, oh, Graviton with no support all is instant death. Nothing you can do there. Seb. Using the Moira all to disengage here, probably not the optimal time. Not even healing up the other support. Ooh, picks up Seb and blue Demo there. So this is looking really, really bad. It's really bad for the, for the uh, undead battery. It's it's not looking so hot here. They have to play retake on a tank or on a tank lineup that doesn't like retaking. I mean, if you're the side of undead battery, you've got to understand that the tank line needs a switch. Especially no, he gets picked up. Blue, day. blue, baby, he gets his Swatter Raptor again. Reboot getting frozen! That's their only chance! Is this May on Crimson? He's doing so much work! Look at him freeze there! Blue's down! Big freeze! Oh, big dragon! They're all frozen! Oh my god! The combo in the DPS show! This is the DPS show! Have you ever seen? Oh, and another one on the dragon under melt there! What a save! Bongo invested! Not many alts left! There's only the transcendence left! They're halfway to the Moira alt, and they're halfway to the May alt! They can win this next engage with these ultimates, but it's how they get them, it's how they use this trance, and it's how they play this final fight to determine whether or not they're gonna have a good chance at winning this map. Yep, and just with 50 seconds remaining on the game, on this map, let's see how Jetpack Cats can slam the door, accidentally oh! shatters reboot! Big Rest shit! Piece, big Where did the shatter go? Where did that shatter go? He accidentally did it right before the fight started, as many of you think- Big Blade already oh, shut oh, down! Perfect chance! But Crime is there to say no! Reboot nanoed, frozen, got nothing on Crimson, what's he gonna do? He's gonna die, can't get out, who is dead as well? This is looking insane for Undead Battery! They're going now, Blue is trying to use his bubble to escape, but Crimson's not having any of it. Frozen now, and shut down, Demo hits the headshot. This is a game now, they have a series on their hands. If they win this one, and the next one, we're going to the final map. Right now, Melts at 56% health, and he's the only one that I can see really touch unless this Lucio makes it to the point. He has five seconds Dark, to make it. He Dark Link touch. makes it. Makes it early, in fact. Kenny, is he going to go down? He trades his life for the touch. Is it worth it? Reboot's got a touch, but the Mayo's coming out. Melts on the Genji. He's getting melted down. No more HP. Reboot. Is he going to need a reboot card after this one? Crimson getting up with it. He's freezing him, going right against that. Oh, O is going down as well. Delivery getting pressured out. No more healing. Just a Zarya left. Blue is done. And that's it. Oh, Dark Link shows up again and says, hey, I'm stalling out. But it's not for long. There it is. Two, two points, 106 meters, and 46 centimeters on the clock. That is very beatable. If yep, they play as well as that last defense, they can win this. Yeah, Hands I mean, down. if you're the side of Undead Battery, you're definitely telling your team right now, hey, this is winnable. This is winnable. We shut down Melts. That's got to be just such a confidence booster to get him on that nano. Blade. I mean, that shot, I, I believe it was from Crimson, but I'm not 100% sure. But that shot was just insane. I think it was Climate, actually, who had the Hanzo shot. But that was bonkers. I mean, that was such a big play. And that turned around from that point on. Undead Battery looked fully charred. They, uh, Undead Battery, they figured it out. They put something together. They went into the halftime and said, hey, these guys are even on us in the scoreboard. We're just as good as they are mathematically. Now we need to go out there and prove it. And that's what they're doing there. The first two points, not looking so good. The first hold was fine. Second hold was very shaky. But third point, they said, hey, we are here to win. And that's what we came to play for. So unbelievable gameplay. I can't wait to see what they're going to attack with. And are they going to keep... Oh, this is interesting. Tank lineup. Are they going to keep Arissa Hog? Or are they going to go... Hog Zarya, that's so, so interesting. And what do you do think? What do you think of that tank lineup? I don't think they're gonna roll out on this, but what do you think if they do roll out on this? What do you think they're gonna be doing? There it I is. Mean, right the now, switch. it's gonna be all about the shield break and seeing who's gonna win this widow duel, especially with so many shields for the side of jetpack hats. I think that Melts is gonna have definitely the advantage to get more picks than, than not, but. I want to see if Empress and Velocifactor can keep up with Reboot. Reboot's been playing so aggressively recently, especially on that last push there we saw on uh, their attack. I want to see the tank lineup take a dominant 
charge. And right now, both teams just peppering it's, each other back and forth. And they're just posturing right now. Now, this is something you see a lot of the higher tier teams are going to do. They're going to scout out the comps and figure out what they want to play without having to waste that valuable all charge. Now, the shield war is going to be interesting because the self. Ooh, big pick with the random mine. That is huge. That's why you never stand in a choke because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, but now true Junkrat lane knows that you, if you ever see your enemy while playing Junkrat, it's it's frowned upon. You just got to shoot from far away and hope for the best. Let those mines do the work for you. And he's already to 38% charge. Just firing. To, to be honest, I wouldn't know that because I don't play Junkrat, but you seem like a seasoned Junkrat veteran. Uh, I am. Honest. Lord, everybody knows me for how much Junkrat Oh is. my god, that's two picks on the clip. What's going through his head right now? It's the only one minute in. Crimson goes down. Melts is it's the oh melt show right now. I can now. tell you right now what's going through Crimson's head, and that's Melts' bullet as he and O are just cleaning job defensively. Oh, picks up Seb. Oh, picks up Demo. Oh my God, it's the O show right now. What is going on? It's another one. Velociraptor gone down as well. That's a oh four my four. God. Oh. And he's rewarded with a tire of his own to see if he can pick up. Just the same or more as they are looking just so dominant on this defense. It is truly the O show right now, along with the Melt show, along with Klimbit show. It's it's all of them show. They're all popping off. And I don't know who's going to come out on top because I think all of them have the potential to win this year. Sombra in the back line. Translocates out. Crimson no opts to go for that Sombra. Sight. Maybe break up the shields a little bit. They're it looks like they're taking my advice from before. Ooh, with the tire. What's he going to get with it? Picks up Klimbin. klimbin has been able to do nothing so far. He's 42% to his first ult two minutes in. At this rate, he's not even going to have an ult. Unlucky, you could say the least, as they do commit subs more or just to keep them alive. And looks like the tank line is going to try to take an aggressive there's, purchase there. They're still going to try to make something out of this fight. Out. They're on point, but it's looking through. Oh, Mel's picks up Demo, looking really big. Blue picks up Seb, looking really bad for Undead Battery. You know what? They got to call a reset at some point. This isn't looking good. This is yep, not looking good for them. Over a minute 40 remaining on the clock. Undead Battery seems to be just scrambling for any kind of any they kind just of want to pick. They, they just want to pick, and even if they get a pick, it's getting res by Mercy, and it's not the play to go for it. They wasted 30 seconds when they could have just reset. Every push is so valuable, and if they think about it, they have to win the next two fights right here if they want a chance at winning this match. I mean, this is the end of it. This could be the this is the drive right now. They need this, or it's going to be over for Undead Battery. So they're going to, we're going to see how bad they want it, how much they've really practiced for this opportunity that they've been giving, given to show us that they are the three and one team that deserves to be higher in the power rankings. Remember, this team is tenth in the power. Melt rankings. once again picks up demo, just shutting down these pushes before they even start. Nothing you can do about it. We're 82 to the EMP. That's the win condition here. A big EMP dive could be the win, winning factor. Oh, Doom's going all the way in the back. They're going. Oh, what are they going to do? Dark Link there. Sigma ult now can hear the music and he's going to try to take out that Winston Velociraptor very no, low. Melts picks up Sam Blue goes down. It's not looking good. You've got to deal with that Widowmaker. Velociraptor also goes down. Melts reboot going on reboot there. What's he going to do? Klimbit going down. Almost is down. Is he going to stay alive? No, he's down. Impulse. Can he do anything here? 30 seconds left. Now this is where you pull the ball out. This is where you say, hey guys, we can get one more. They try to stagger. She remixed, but they shut it down. You and need a ball. The EMP available. How, the EMP how do they touch? It. How do they touch here? It's 14 seconds if they want to win this map. This is the most stressful 14, se or 14 seconds. How are they going to do it? It's 10 it ticks down. Is Moira going to go for it? There's a tire coming out. Perfectly timed. Who's on point? Stubbs picks up two. Big EMP on this five. Oh, window goes down. Only... Oh, I'm only Baptiste not getting hit by it. Mercy goes down, but Seb's the only one alive. Emperor's going down as well. And that is it. Yep, a Jetpack Cats with a convincing win on Blizzard World. First holding them all the Jet way. And Jetpack Cats pulling up huge in the last couple of rounds. Play of the game. Yep, Jetpack Cats look like they're ready to pounce here as they've been playing out of their mind this series. Speaking of who's been playing out of their mind, I mean, the DPS lineup, Climate Trench trying to keep their team alive, and he's been playing lights out. Now, look at, look well. at this play. This is the DPS show right here. Climbit. Oh, who is it? Climbit and Crimson right there. Those two together. One is freezing, one is ultimate. It's this all it's been. It's been a Hanzo Dragon into a freeze. It's they're setting each other up. They're playing together. There's no one DPS that has been saying, hey, look how good I am. I'm the best. It's they're working together and they're finding ways to edge out the, like, their opponents here. It's unbelievable.
And we are getting ready to go to our final match, which is going to be Dorado here. Now, currently, they have a chance to at least score a point. Look, at, let me you know dress it up to be respectable. But right now, Jetpack has up three to zero. And hey, if you like what we're, if you like what you're watching here, you like the players, you love the action, make sure to tune in. Dude, I'm going to let you talk about it. What, what do they need to tell Oh, yeah. Here? Oh, yeah. About this. So if you're <laughs> enjoying all of the amazing action and all the great commentating, you can always join in on Mondays at 830 Eastern Standard Time for the Iris podcast. So that's something if you're interested in and you can't get enough of Overwatch and a Tranquility Overwatch. That's how you get more of your fix. I mean, if you love the spice, Ski Free is there for you. If you like stupid things that people say, Specs is also there for you. And hey, who doesn't like <laughs> NPC and Nick? on there as well so hey i mean it only gets better from here folks it's it's a great cast it's a great lineup it's a great show definitely go and check it out if you haven't seen it before very 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 worth your time you know there's a lot of podcasts you listen to not worth your time guarantee you this is one of the overwatch podcasts you're not gonna want to miss and I have something for you here. They took out Reboot, who has been their main tank this game, and they're putting it upsetting, who was that Symmetra on Horizon Lunar Colony. That's been absolutely popping off. We're going to get to see him on main tank, possibly. So that's going to be just absolutely crazy. It's, it, it, it's going to be a good switch. It's good to see you know, how versatile teams are. It's really scary to see when a team is able to make switches and still be dominant. You know, you see the best, you see some of the best uh, Overwatch teams in the world do this. They switch out their players and they still come at you, even st as strong as before and even possibly stronger. So if you can do that, it shows a lot of versatility and a lot of practice. And it just is a testament to the number of hours that these athletes are putting into their craft. Yep. And may I be the first to introduce you to Dorado, which is going to be the... Uh excuse me the payload map we are going to be seeing here and we're going to see if if undead battery has any more ounce of battery left them to push themselves to possibly getting a map win or will jetpack cats close the door for a clean 4-0 sweep yeah you know what it's it's really demoralizing when you get into a position of 3-1 you know it's one point on the league it's it's what are you really playing for but you know what when you get into these situations you need to be playing for yourself and you need to get your give it your 100 percent and even 110 percent to prove to yourself and everyone else that you deserve to win a map and that is enough confidence that can even help to a better next week you know so just getting one map is so crucial I mean, nothing in Tranquility is given unless you play in a bye week game. But other than that, everything else here is earned, and they are going to have to fight a very, very excited, hyped up, and energetic Jetpack Cats if they're going to want any chance of picking up this Dorado map. Now, I want to see Melz on some Genji. I've been waiting for it the whole time. I saw one or two blades, but they seem to get shut down a little bit early. Um, but I want to see what he can do with a nano boot. So delivery on that Anna. I want to see some combos. And personally, I just want to see some ghost dashes and a 6k. But let's see what we let's see what we end up actually getting. We are also seeing Upsetting, who is just so dominant on that sim on Horizon Lunar Colony, back on the sim for this attack. So let us see how things are going to go. Both so, teams. Uh, so Ooh, Ooh actually making the switch over to Zarya. So really showing some flexibility and adaptability uh, with, you know, in a hero pool when it comes to that. Oh, 100%. And Melts right now just doing some kind of poke, trying to do anything he can. He is discorded, so he's going to back up for now. And we're going to see when the end of the battery wants to take a rotational move here. As they do put a Sim teleporter up there. Oh, they're going straight up, but he, he falls off. And the teleporter is destroyed, so he can't retake it. Melts poking out. Oh, Gimba going in hard, but he... Oh, he gets out just barely with the seismic slam there. Climb it. Playing with death there is he barely made it to that arisen. Just gotta think of main thing. Investing for that the one. lamp. That's big. Impers takes out the lamp. They didn't protect it. That's big here. Climb it. Picks up upsetting. Opens up the fight here. They're going through the all in. They're diving. Picks up one. Who picks up two? Impers picks up blue. Who's gonna happen? Crimson getting pressured out. Seb all getting pressured out by Melt in the back. Impers trying to push hard here on the on the road. Have it. Blue goes down. Or ooh, sorry, on that Zarya. Now what's gonna happen here? Look. Very strong holding out uh, jet or the, uh, the dead with the undead battery. I'm having a hard time remembering. That's a tricky one. Thank you. I'm having a tricky one with that. And right now, Melts is already 94% to that blade. Let's see what he's going to be able to do. Crimson does have that ult available. But Seb, who's some other thing we have not been talking about. Last, last game, 73% dam er, uh, hero damage running. 73% oh, of the team's damage. So Seb oh. playing that DPS. Charging with a big well. Doomfist punch. Oh my lord. A Delivery up on the high ground, playing on the antidote. 
protected. Nice positioning. Blue getting knocked up. Mel's trying dashing out. Moira all invested from Seb. Oh, come meteor strike coming in. Pushes down like into the team. Can they get him? No, he's back in the field. What can they do here? Looks and really here good. comes the nail blade. There's my nail blade. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Is that a six K? Is where's my six? Is that five? That's a 5k. Why well, so close to seeing my 6k, but Melt's wait, making wait, wait, it happen. We might have the 6k. We might Is have it. There? Oh. oh no! Oh. So close. But no Melt kidding. coming up large, upsetting, using the wall there. Oh, come on, man. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> upsetting using out the wall here. Melt getting uh, getting healed up against Discord. Him. What's he gonna play and what's he gonna do next here? Amazing blade. And not only was that amazing blade, he's also 41 to his next. So this is really scary because just when a Genji blades, you don't expect him to have it again. If Melt keeps his ult char uh, charge up, he'll have it again in no time. And you know, just looking at oh, Melt right he's damage literally damage just too. dancing around the team right now. Building already 56%, 59% to another ult. He's literally just flying. Oh, he picks up Marissa as well. Unbelievable. Yeah, Melt is playing like a 3400 point Crimson Harmony trades. tier right now, and he's just going off. Demo getting taken on by Ooh. Ooh. Almost getting hooked, getting dodging it out there, but also getting taked out by right in the end there. Seb healing up his teammates, taking back the fight on the point. He does die down to delivery. Uh, dark, dark line there. Dark Link on the point there by himself. Invest Lamp. Kills out Gambit. Nice. Melts deflecting the front, dashing through. Blue engaging off that dash. Now he's posturing back to the point here. What are they going to do next? Setting on the high ground, just laying in shots, almost took out the McCree there. is going to be forced to back up, and they are going to be ulting here, trying to get any kind of benefit they can. Oh, Melt, Melt goes down, early out. hook, big pull, Impers with the pull. This is really tough now, Bongo down, one down, really strong. Ooh, is trying to push the Bongo, but he's not dying. He dies out, upsetting goes down, looks really, really, really strong on the side of Undead Battery here. Just had Cats getting pushed out, Dark Link going down. And Crimson I'm excited to see just how things are going to be handled here. Because right now when you talk about the tank lineup, no tanks have really been standing up to me, but Impurse has been really, really that, that frontline tank that's been taking the brunt of the damage, even though he is on the Roadhog self-heal. He is really putting in a lot of effort. You see a lot of uh, desire to win here for his team. So hats off to Impurse, but you, you got to make you know, has that nano blade available to go. M, M Percy, he's making you make a decision. He says, hey, I'm going to take a little extra damage. You're either going to kill me or my team's going to kill you. And they don't kill him. And Here that's it. Go. And he just goes off. Nano Blade coming in hot there. Crimson shuts it down. Gets delivery as well. Oh, my Lord. What a hold. What a hold. That's three. Can he get any more? What can he do with this? Demo picks up upsetting. Are they pushing? They're still going. Dark Link pulled in and killed. Seb picks up that one. Are they pushing on to Ooh? They, they might just push to spawn here. No, they are letting them get back right now, and Melts has got to be disappointed how that Nano Blade went as Crimson coming in clutch with that 2k, but they do have Blue Shatter available, and we all know how Shatters can be just catastrophic if a team, especially with Orissa, is not using that ooh, shield correctly. Ooh, TP, TP to the high ground now. They're using TP at, to its maximum here. Reinhardt staying on the bottom to fake them out here. They're and they will up. have a grab this fight. Look at that, look at that. All they had to do was put couple up on the high ground and have Reinhardt go to point and it forces them right back. So very, very smart strategical play here. Very, very straight from the cats there. You can see that they practice a lot. Oh, the delivery takes, takes up crimson. crimson. That's not something you see every day. Oh, oh Blue gets shut down, the hammer down. Devil comes in with a transcendence. What's free gonna happen? Arissa, Arissa taking damage. That's free grab. Can they turn it around? Are they investing? No, they're not. They're gonna hold for the last fight. They're gonna say, hey, we could have grabbed one down, but we're gonna come back when we have more ults, and we have more of a chance to win this, and we're gonna come back for one big fight there. Delivery goes down, melts goes down left. on Impers. You know what? This is looking really winnable for Undead Battery. They oh, can't 100%. come up. They cannot come up short on this fight. This fight here is a is a huge fight to win. It means a whole lot in terms of how this map actually plays out. And it's all up to how Ooh uses this grab. They have no defensive ults on the side of Undead Battery, so it's 100% in his favor to grab an ace, sap, and make sure that they can get as much benefit as they can out of this. Blue Shield is getting relatively low, and they're going to have to make their move now or never, with 30 seconds remaining on the clock and just so much... Oh, they're going, going behind them! This is... They're saying, hey, you know what? We're just going to surround you. You guys want to play on the low ground? We're going to go everywhere. In this, in this position, they need to go play the point. They're just getting surrounded. Melt They're going to get blade. collapsed in on... They, where's the blade? He's got the blade. We got to see some alts coming out. Are they even going to touch though? Oh, Are they Melt just forgetting it. about the cart? Melt, no blade! Are oh, they going to the cart now? They finally go to the cart. Six seconds left. 
Delivery goes down. Climbin picks up two. Oh no, Dark Link is going down as well. He looks super low. How is he gonna get out of this one? Big grab from Ooh. Crimson with the all. Climbin picking up another one. Demo and Climbin picking up two, actually. Three. Make that a 3k for him. Oh man, and if you're to the side, oh, see if anything is changing here. As Melts does pick up two. Wait a minute now. Melts no, picks up two, but goes down to in person demo point there. Impulse so slams the door on that attack. But let's talk for a second here. This oh, is had awesome. an opportunity for a grab way earlier on that fight with the blade, but just didn't pull the trigger, didn't want to pull it out, and it was unfortunately lost there. But I do believe that was a very winnable fight for the side of Jetpack Cats, but on Dead Battery, slamming the door on that attack. 100, 100%. They're saying, hey, you know what? We're coming to play. You know, we might be down three games, but we're still taking the fourth because next time we come to play, we're taking all four of them. That's the attitude they're showing up with. And if they brought that from the start, this would have been a five map series without a question in my eyes. Both teams are playing very, very well. Now, how, how, do you, how do you play this attack confidently to win? Because a lot of teams get a really good hold and say, hey, we're at, we're at an advantage, uh, so we don't have to play as hard. What are you going to be doing to ensure that you're going to be attacking your hardest? What do you do? How do you play this mentally? And what do you play in the game as well? I mean, your mentality right now has to be, hey, look, if we're on dead battery here, we've lost this already. We're lo we lost 0-3, but we have nothing to lose right now. Let's have some fun. And I think that if they keep that mentality, I think if they play smart, use those ults correctly, I think they definitely have a chance to at least make this a respectable loss, make it a 3-1 for the Jetpack Cats. Now, I'm... I really, 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 really like the Sombra pick. I, I can't stress this enough how crucial I think this Sombra is going to be. I see a lot of teams pick Sombra at about two minutes, and that only is really going to give you one EMP if it played well. If you play right from the get-go, you can do so many things with it. You can scout out with it. You can, you know, if you need to change, you can get back to spawn really quick. And you can oh. farm an EMP and get two or three of them and be very uh, uh, and look at Melts very right impactful. Just sitting right by the door, gonna try to get a pick with the mercy pocket. And let's see if that does come into fruition. He does! Oh he picked up a tank! Melt! <laughs> just stop doing that! That's that's BM. We're gonna have to get Cav on that. That's BM. Alright, okay. Official, where, are the, where are the officials? Bring the officials! Oh, Melt! Dead! Someone scan this guy's oh. computer for cheats! Scan this guy's computer for cheats! Oh my lord! Oh my god! Look at that! Delivery is just delivering him a, a pocket the whole time. Oh! Crimson! Don't challenge this man! Oh! He is not okay with that attack. He says, you know what? We're gonna come out here and we're gonna do our best. No, we're gonna put you in spawn the whole time. Not gonna oh, do not our again, best. Not again. Another headshot! Oh lord! Climb it going down. This is looking very dire for undead battery. Upsetting posturing on the top. Already has walls. He's a minute in. Oh, oh, that's that oh, demo no. down. Trading for upset. Impers with the trade there. That is very good. Good, good hearing. Good listening there. He can turn around on the point when he hears him drop down and just gets the hook. Even though it's a trade, it's it's better than nothing. Melts is getting his his uh his way right Melts. now on the sniper duel, but Tank Lance did a pretty good job. The team is staying right behind that shield and not Look poking at up Melts forward. Melts up on this high ground. Oh my God! Delivery knows he doesn't need to do anything. To keep Melts able to do damage. He just keeps him alive. It's not even like he needs the healing. It's just the damage boost is so strong. Demo goes down to upsetting, punched right into the wall. And upsetting right now. Melts! Is security work, but Melts just having the time of Oh life. my god, Crimson taking out upsetting trades, delivery with the res, doesn't mean much here. That's two minutes down. You're halfway through this point, and Melts is, it's just the Melts show right now. Look at upsetting right now, spawn killing. Melts picks up climate, upsetting equipment, Melts in first. What is going on? What is going on? Look at the strong positioning from this Widow. This Widow is uncontested. Where's your and, uh, counter Widow? What's Crimson gonna do? You and need see that how counter well Widow. That, seeing how well that Melts is playing, don't forget you go to the Discord and buy a Melts jersey of the uh, Jetpack Cats if you really want to shine that swag because he's right now playing like a superstar, all-star mentality right now. Sab gets upsetting! Oh, nice. Great. Now this is winnable. Now they play this right. No! Don't go in front of the shield, Larissa! No! No! Don't hide you! Not behind the shield! Oh, just... It's not looking good. They're looking shaky. They need a full regroup here! They need a full regroup and a change of pants after the way that... Oh my god! This. A big old hook on the 
But Stop. it's overextended now in the game. Get out of there. Gambit goes down. Go to the spawn. Go to the kid. See, I'm, see, to keep trading out. I'm setting. But I'm setting is just okay with the trades because Melt is so strong. Oh, Melt goes down, but not for long. Delivery comes in to deliver that res. This is just, this is just meme on the side of Jetpack Cats. Talk about making a Melt, statement. look at this positioning. Look at this. He's going to go for Gambit. Look at this. He's, he's just going for it. Not many Widow, he's gonna go for the flank. He's gonna go for it. Not many Widowmakers make this play. What are you doing there? Oh, and he gets Gambit! Oh, what is he doing here? On the high ground behind, it's not looking good. 30 seconds left. There might be another one if they manage to regroup, but regrouping has not been their strong suit this entire attack round. Oh, even Demos, he's, he's playing for a desperation play. Look at him at the backup here. He's just, he's playing to touch. They don't have a plan. There's no strategy left. It's get onto the point and hope you to win. No, it's bad when your Roadhog is scared to peek a widow right now. I mean, he can't even get out of that corridor. This is unbelievable. He's going in for the touch. He knows he has to do a demo on the Widowmaker. What's he gonna go for? He's on the point. He's trying to get something done, but that's just not happening. Upsetting and melt. Ooh, Dark Link. All of them are playing so strong, and melt finishes off the game on the demo. That is it. Unbelievable play. The Jetpack Cats. Take the win. And what a win it was. Talk about slamming the door, making an impact. We're going to hear somebody talk about this on the podcast because Melt has been... Melt has arrived, Let's ladies watch. This is my play. This is the play. This is All the one you, I wanted. All you. I, I called this play right from the start. I wanted to watch this right from the start of the series. And Melt, watch this here. It is the Melt Show. Big dash up top. Comes in with the nano, but not even the nano blade. It's a regular blade. That's a regular blade. Get that on Reddit. Get that on Reddit. That's a Reddit play from our buddy Melts there. He played out of his mind in these matches. I don't know what to say. I mean, you talk about how this was a DPS show, but we're on the Melts channel right now. I mean, that was just out of this world Melts. MVP if, of the match. If you, sure. if you are not a Melts fan, then he has definitely melted a spot in your heart here tonight. <laughs> his showing has been impressive. And you know what else has been impressive? The amazing casting job from Zuby, who's done d does so much for the Overwatch Tranquility. Make sure you th thank him after the, after the show. But as I say, all things come to an end. 4-0 Jetpack Acts Week 5 featured match. My name is Kingdom. And this is my good friend. Man and I am Man Jones. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a pleasure uh, being casting these games and being alongside Kingdom. I... I will definitely do that. Uh, Zuby, thank you so much for putting on such an awesome show. This is the man behind the curtains, which you don't see doing all the work, so I can sit here and talk about video games. So if you guys enjoyed the production, you guys can feel free to follow me over Twitch TV forward slash Man Jones. It's just that there. You can also follow me, Man Jones, on YouTube there. Those are my two channels you can follow. And, of course, if you're not already following, twitch.tv slash KingdomOW or Twitter.com slash Kingdom Zero W1. Make sure to follow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Experience Tranquility.